Hi, I'm Greg Day from Palo Alto Networks. I'm the Chief Security Officer for Europe, Middle East and Africa, and welcome to my 2018 and beyond predictions. So what are they? Let's get them straight, straight into them. Um, number one is I actually think the role of myself and my peers as a Chief Security Officer is changing. Why is it changing? Well, we've seen ransomware really ramp up in the last couple of years. And as well as disrupting services very directly, what we're actually seeing is impact on human life as a result of this. So I think what that means is the tenants we used to work by, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, there's a new fourth one, which is human safety and security. Number two for me is actually um, the forward lean. IT consumption is changing. We are moving to paper use models. If I look, AWS announced in October per second billing. And yet most of us buy cybersecurity on an annual or a multi-year basis. So I think there is a fundamental shift where we now need to start to make sure that IT cybersecurity works and is used in the same way as the actual environments we need to support. So that's a fundamental principles change for us. Number three, obviously we always have to talk about the threat change. Well, I've talked about ransomware. Actually, what we've seen in ransomware in the last year is two interesting shifts. One is to move into the smartphone space, and two actually was looking more at the data they're taking away from you to see if there's very personal artifacts that they could then use to blackmail you with. And so I think kind of ransomware is almost in its kind of early kind of teenage years, but there's a lot of maturing. We can see a lot more come from it in the next couple of years. Now, at the same time, DDoS seems to have made a resurgence, very much focusing into the OT space. And I think it's highlighting that the big organizations had figured out how to deal with their gateway. But now, as we get more interconnected, we're going to see more organizations down in the supply chain that have smaller links really having to figure out how they deal with that problem. The third, if you like, threat change for me is cryptocurrencies. So I think when cyber attack started, it was all about fraud. And as we move from physical payments in a digital world to digital payments in a digital world, it's only to be expected that the adversary is going to follow us there. And we're already starting to see examples of theft and, and how do they break into that system. Now, if I think about the other fundamentals of what do cyber attackers do, it's always been about credential theft. How do I get credentials and use them for some other purpose? And again, I think the technology shift is driving a change in the space. We're seeing more and more collaborative clouds, and that means bigger data sets, more levels of credentials that have access to them. We're already starting to see adversaries focusing in on those cloud credentials and looking to get at those bigger sources of information. And so that nicely leads into really my kind of fifth prediction, which is if we're going to see this, how do we deal with it? And I think whether you talk about cloud, whether you talk about new regulations like PSD2, what we need to have is the ability to deconfuse where those responsibilities lie, um, which part is my responsibility, which is delivered as part of the service, and which part is my supply chain, but also equally importantly, much better audit trails. And again, the dynamic nature of this disposable IT is going to mean we need to rethink just where and how we keep that data. So that leads me on to my last prediction, number six, for 2018, which is more than ever before, I think we have a myriad of regulations going live. PSD2 in the financial services space, GDPR, which affects worldwide, and the NIS directive, which I think is stuck a little under the radar. And I think my point for this is we're kind of almost in that 11th hour rush to try and get there on time if we can, but don't miss the opportunity to use this to step back and go, are the principles that I'm still working towards appropriate for where my business is going? And just about every organization I talk to sees digital transformation as a new route to market. And the challenge is if we're not keeping pace in that in cybersecurity, then we're not going to be on the same journey with them. So summary for me, it is a, a period, I think, of greater change than I've ever seen before, exponential change. And maybe a bit of bedtime reading for you, great book, Exponential Organizations Think About how IT is really enabling businesses in the future and therefore what our remit is from a cybersecurity perspective. Now, to give you maybe a, a kind of final example here, uh, one of the terms I hear more and more is DevOps and this idea of, you know, building 
and ongoing code change cycles, and especially as we start to use containering and cloud. And it brings me back to these principles of, if I've got something that changes very frequently, the question would be, if I do have an incident, then how do I understand what's going on? Because the security needs to be natively plumbed into that environment. But when that environment disappears, I lose the security and potentially the logs. So I need to start thinking about how do I separate the information I need to maintain, which may be the, the logs and the information about that, but also what was that environment at that time? And then how do I have a consistent layer of security that sits above this from a policy management that allows me to work natively in those ever-changing environments? So how do we do that? We have to reshift our focus. I think for too long, we've been trying to play catch up, dealing with the legacy systems, dealing with legacy cybersecurity. And I think as we see the agility move in businesses to move to this more disposable method of IT, we have to bite that same bullet and start to go, what are the things we really get rid of from a cybersecurity perspective that free up our time and resource to then focus on what's coming in the future? With that, let me say, have a great 2018. I look forward to speaking to you again soon.